best interest not only for him, you know, moving forward with a business opportunity, but what would be good for the country. And he's a patriot, loves his country, and just salt of the earth kind of guy. So I'm looking forward to that opportunity. But, you know, it takes money to make money. That's the bottom line to, to promote. And then it, things are not cheap. You know that. Um, and that's true everywhere. Uh, but if you can cut corners and there's ways to be able to save money, like I used to be a um, Starbucks connoisseur. I used to go buy the drive through all the time and coffee and sandwiches and pastries. And uh, it's not good for your waistline, but it's, it's definitely not good for your pocketbook. I don't do it anymore. Uh, and if I do it, it's for a cup of coffee. If I'm on the road traveling and I need a, you know, I need that coffee, then I'll, I'll stop by. But you know, you, you know, got all these subscriptions, Netflix and Hulu and all that, you know, you, you just limit it and you can cut corners ways that you can save money and more money. And so we try to be thrifty as we possibly can with everything that we do it for the people and try to, but again, it, it takes uh, a certain amount of money to be able to get an ad campaign out. Magazines simply just don't do stories anymore. Uh, they don't follow up stories like they used to do. I mean, here it is. We had a legend, Chuck, second only to Rush Limbaugh. Uh, they all did the death story, and we were the one that submitted it, but they never did a follow-up story. Not one of the trade magazines saying or indicating that For the People's continuing. Never, never did that. Never said that. Uh, never gave a web address to for the people, you know, for condolences for people that uh, didn't know you could access for the people by for the people show dot com. But I will I will say this, that our broadcast that we did to honor Chuck and quite a cast of characters that came on as we remember Chuck, we had so many hits around the world. It wasn't funny. And there were some articles that uh, were written by some colleagues of Chuck that did put the web address on. So it wasn't all, but uh, apparently enough people, and we were just blown away by the sheer amount of folks that uh, listened in. But we are keeping the legacy alive with For the People and the mission of For the People, again, to be straightforward. And we want to do more programs. We want to go more than just an hour, but we got to start somewhere. Uh, yeah, weekly, absolutely. Uh, we could do five days a week, but we got to start somewhere, folks, uh, little by little. Let's get the support in, and if we can do five days a week, Monday through Friday, we're going to do it. Uh, we were doing it, but uh, we just couldn't afford to do it, and we did that for uh, about three years until we had to kind of cut back, and uh, we had a blast doing the broadcasts, and uh, we heard from a lot of uh, radio stations that were interested in taking the broadcast. And we're trying to do things with engineers uh, that make the program more uh, palatable for stations, uh, such as news at the top of the hour, starting at, uh, you know, five past, six past the hour. Uh, but we right now are adapted to a network clock uh, for Liberty News Network. And so we're using their clock. And if you'd like to see that, uh, you go to ForThePeopleShow.com and you can see their clock. You can see their program guide. And so we're pretty much subject to those, but we can modify things to make things work. So we're really just uh, at a, a crossroad, I would say, right now, but we do need help. And that's why I'm coming to you, and I don't know who else to ask, but faithful fans, faithful listeners, faithful friends that uh, know me and love me and have put up with me <laughs> uh, for all these years. But if you can... You can uh, make a special donation today. I would really appreciate that greatly at ForThePeopleShow.com. And like I say, you can use any major credit card, bank card, debit card, and it's secure. You're not going to get a phone call saying that somebody's stole your number or something wacky like that online. I've never had an issue because we don't see the information here. Nobody's monkeying around our computers. Um, there's firewalls in place with PayPal, and they're at Worldwide Bank. Um, like Western Union used to be, um, they're like the best way that you can get paid on the web, and that's why eBay kicked off with their own PayPal. Then they sold it to somebody else to run it, but they still use it. Um, but yeah, PayPal, world known, everybody uses it and loves it, and we love it because you can get paid quick, and you can pay other people fast as well. 
But we'd like to make this happen. Um, we'd like to do it before November to get onto the shortwave station at 60 an hour. So between six and 10,000 to prepay them, put two, three ads out in some national uh, magazines, uh, let people know that for the people back on the air, for shortwave listeners and also for radio stations to carry the broadcast as we have several already. So see if you have an affiliate that's near you at ForThePeopleShow.com on radio stations. And remember, you can make a donation right online at ForThePeopleShow.com. Have a great weekend. Keith Allen, For The People, saying all the best. May God bless.